Hi guys, uh, welcome to Jevgen Academy. And in this short presentation, I will be explaining what we call retrovitting, the need for retrovitting, the factors that can affect your retrovitting decision, and the various retrovitting techniques that you can apply on building or structure. So if this is your first time on this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button down below this video and like the video and give a comment so what is retrovitting according to fema which is the federal emergency management agency retrovitting is any change made to a structure mostly an existing structure to reduce or to eliminate the possibility of damage to that structure which can either be from flooding erosion erosion, wind effect, earthquakes, or other hazards being applied on the building. So how do you know, what do you now call retrovitting a building or a structure? So it involves the changing of a structural member for after it has been initially constructed or occupied so as to increase the load carrying capacity to prevent the building from possible damage and other effects. So what are the needs for retrovitting? So you can actually retrovit your building if there is a poor quality of construction material being used to construct the building, or if there is a damage to any of the structural elements like columns, beams, and slabs, and if there is a change in building function, that is maybe you converted your building from a residential building to a public building. So the function of the building has been affected. So you might need to retrofit. Then if there is a change in the environmental conditions, let's say your building is now exposed to earthquakes and high winds. So you might need to increase the carrying capacity of the building by retrofitting it. And if there is a change in the building code, of the building. So then uh, what are now the factors that affect your decision to retrofit a building or not? You know, the purpose of retrofitting is just to increase the strength of the building. So you can actually decide to demolish the building and reconstruct. But in, instead of doing that, instead of doing that, you can actually try to retrofit by just increasing the carrying capacity of some of the major components of the building. So the first factor that you are trying to consider is the technical aspect. The technical aspect is when you carry out your testing of materials and you carry out your structural analysis. So this will actually tell you if there is need for you to retrofit or not. Then uh, the cost intervention, if this involves you carrying out the cost benefit analysis to determine the effect of retrofitting a building, demolishing, or reconstructing. So the cost-benefit analysis will actually give you an, an edge or affect your decision to retrofit. Then the importance of the building. So buildings are built for some purposes. For example, historical buildings. Historical buildings gives historical values. So you need to consider you need to consider these values before you actually make your final decision. So then the if there is adequate technology and if there is skilled workmanship, recent retrofitting techniques need high skilled workmanship to be properly applied and implemented. So uh what are now the what are now the uh, the basic aim of retrofitting a structure? So the basic aim of retrofitting a building is actually to increase the strength or stiffness of one of the structural members, or to increase the ductility of the structure, or in case of seismic effect, to reduce the seismic force when we are talking about earthquake loads and others. So. I'll be talking about the retrofitting 
of your concrete members. So you can actually, actually reproduce your concrete members using fiber reinforced polymers. So fiber reinforced polymers are bound continuously with to the surface of an existing structure to restore or to improve the load carrying capacity of the structure. So this fiber reinforced polymer usually comprises of high strength continuous fibers like glass, carbon, steel wire mesh, which are embedded in polymer matrix. So as you can see in this picture, they are applying a polymer, a fiber reinforced polymer. This is a carbon reinforced polymer, uh, polymer on the beam so as to increase the load carrying capacity of this beam. So the same thing happens in this picture. They applied a carbon reinforced polymer to the surface of the beam to increase the load carrying capacity of that beam. Then the second process is what we call jacketing. So jacketing is applying a jacket material, which can either be concrete, steel, or fiber, fiber reinforced polymers. So you are, so how do you now perform jacketing process? As you can see in the picture. So the first thing that you actually need to, to perform jacketing is to first of all remove the concrete cover. This is usually uh, applied on concrete structures. You remove the concrete cover and expose the reinforcement the initial reinforcement, you know, this is an, is an existing building to so expose the initial reinforcement. Then you apply the, you install the wells and bent bars. So these are the dowels wells and bent bars, as you can see in the picture, for example, this. So this will actually ensure proper anchorage. Then you now install the jacketing reinforcement. So the jacketing reinforcement is what you can see in the picture. So this reinforcement, we actually, aid and improve the capacity of this beam and column. So you can also use steel as a jacketing um, material. So as you can see in the second picture here, so the concrete is jacketed with steel, with steel. So then another way of retrofitting a structure is repavement method. Repavement method means you are replacing some of some of the structural elements maybe beam or column you are replacing it with precast members so the purpose of doing this is just to restore or to improve the load carrying capacity maybe because the existing member is not enough to carry the intended load due to earthquake wind load or flooding so you try to uh you try to replace it with a new member. Then you also have retrofitting by implement supplementation. That is, you add additional members to the building. For example, you add additional beams to slab so as to reduce the span of the slab, or you add additional girders to decks in case of bridge so as to increase the so as to reduce the span of the bridge. Then you also have the supporting point addition method. So supporting point addition method is just you you support the intermediate section of the of beams or of the concrete members with new members. So this actually reduces the span of the members and improve the capacity of the structure as, as a whole. Uh, then I'll talk about ways of retrofitting your foundation so the first way that you can retrofit your foundation is elevation method so this actually apply if your building is exposed to environmental changes such as flooding in case of flooding as you can see in this picture so this building is retrofitted using elevation method that is you try to elevate your building so elevation can either be done using piles, as you can see, using piers. You can use piles, as you can see in this picture, in the second picture here, using piles for elevation. You can also use columns or structural walls. So, but the disadvantage of elevating a building against flooding is that it actually affects the 
appearance of the building. As you can see in this picture, the appearance of this structure is greatly affected. Then the second and the other way in which you can improve your foundation is to introduce underground beams and additional beams or structural walls. So once you introduce this beam or walls, it actually increases the uh, it allows for for distribution of stresses and ensure stability in the foundation. Then you also have the foundation improvement method. So this actually, let's say you want to in, improve your soil bearing capacity. So these include adding cementitious materials to the foundation. So this actually helps to improve the um, bearing capacity of the building, allow it to carry more load than the intended than the existing than the existing capacity of the foundation so thanks for thanks for listening make sure you subscribe to this channel like the video and give a comment see you next time